All right, this is Bakari Giovanni with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, I'm back with another video finally, and I'm talking about again Amazing Marvin because I have really mastered this uh, planning application, and I kind of want to share you share with you how I've set it up. I changed my uh, set up over the, the last year and a half or so. And so I kind of want to give you an update about how I set it up and why you might want to use this planner um, as um, for getting things done. Because I really, it really helped me uh, last year to just get a lot of things done like any other planner that I have ever used in, in the last, I don't know, eight years or 10 years. So let's take a look at it here. And again, now this is a demo um, of my um, Amazing Marvin, and it doesn't show all my tasks and all my projects, but it shows some of them so you can kind of get an idea. And I'm just going to walk you through the way I set it up. Now, there's a lot that you will not see in my demo that's available. Amazing Marvin has so many uh, ways to set it up and different strategies and different ways you can lay it out. You can lay it out with sidebars. You can lay it out with uh, different um, uh, custom uh, uh, links here. Uh, but I'm not going to go into detail about that. What I'm going to do is just set up why, how I, I have it set up this particular way. So at the top here, basically what these are are just kind of task templates. And so if I click on one here, I can just, you know, fill this in and then uh, do a return key and it will schedule it for that particular day. So it's already set up. So these are things that they are not recurring, but they're, th they're kind of tasks that I might do infrequently. But again, I don't need to have to, you know, type them out. I can just kind of click here and do that. All right, another another little strategy that's in Amazing Marvin is what's called targets. And basically targets are some targets that I identify that I want to maybe kind of reach every week. So I want to do so much, you know, freelance work every week, so much um, web design work every week. And that's not showing on here, but um, I want to do that. So that's something that it's a little it's a little strategy in there. And I think we can click to it. See, it's one of the strategies that we can do weekly time targets. And so you can set those based on what you want to, um, you know, get done. The beautiful thing about this interface is the reason why I use it is because it's constantly reminding me of the things that I want to accomplish. And other task managers I've used in the past, you know, I will create tasks or create projects and they just kind of get buried in the user interface. And so doing it this way, I constantly can use this user interface to remind me of what I need to be getting done. Same thing here. Uh, these are projects and I, you know, again, in my non-demo, in my, you know, real uh, 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 amazing Marvin here, I would have about five or six uh, projects. But again, these are projects that there are most important projects that I want to work on either this month or this week or what have you. And so when you can add them right here and then you can do it, just open them up. And you can click them off as you go along. You can change them up, switch them up, uh, make additions and all that. So and then you just close it here. But the beautiful thing about it is it's telling me what kind of progress I'm making on a project. And again, I'm not forgetting it, which is really, really great. Um, same thing, scrolling down again, here are my, some goals for my quarterly goals, right? And so again, these are just markers here for my quarterly goals. Again, to remind me, this is what I need to work toward. And many of these, these all these goals pretty much have uh, projects tied to them, but it's nice to kind of see the progress that I'm making on that goal and hopefully to get them done in a certain amount of time. All right. Now, uh, let's skip this part here. This is something I, well, this is called thematic uh, theming. And I really haven't used this too much, but again, it's a thing of saying that you want to work on certain things throughout the week um, or, or throughout the month. You can set it up to remind you of those uh, areas of work that you want to do. Um, I did another video about, uh, these are these kind of um, what's called uh, custom squares. And this is another strategy. I'm just showing you the different strategies that are available in here. And these are links to different parts of um, of your Marvin, right? And you can set these up however you want. And you can even create links to external uh, links outside of Marvin as well. So those are called custom squares. And you can look in my, um, I have a video about how to use custom squares. All right. 
one of the most crucial things for planning is the is the plan day here. And so this appears every day. And when you click on it, when I click on it here, what it does is it opens up my master list and smart list that I have here. And basically what I can do is I can drag whatever task I have over into my morning, afternoon, or evening for that particular day. So this is really cool. And then when you have, like, I have the smart list, like the things that I want to get done for this month, right? So I can also look in here, or I can look at for this week, or next month, or priority tasks. Again, this is great because now everything that I have uh, put into my uh, master list I have access to and all I got to do is just schedule it when I'm ready to do the work and again this is makes it really really easy for this now ordinarily my schedule it, you know breaking up into like you know I have some recurring tasks that they just automatically appear you know every every week or so um, I have different those here but here's the things that are not recurring and I need to choose what I want to get done and this is a lot more detail that goes into this but I just want to show you how easy it is to look into this master list or smart list to just kind of find the kind of tasks and projects that I should be working on. And again, now as I add stuff to this, it tells you here, um, it kind of gives you an estimate, estimate of how much, you know, you're, you're adding to your day, right? Because what you do in the, um, in a task, you can give some time estimates over here, right? And set some time estimates. And if you do that, so, you know, this is for five minutes to go check the mail, right? But some tasks might be an hour, some tasks might be an hour and a half. And so what, the, what a Marvin will do is kind of give you an idea that, hey, you have maybe too many tasks or not enough tasks for that particular day. This is just really, really great, right? And so, you go down there and then you can just add your tasks and schedule your tasks here. And so then you can also add stuff that's not, um, you know, in your master list. Um, and you can do that right here. It's great. It's really fine. And then the last couple of things that I have here is, um, down here is, is a, um, some bottom links, right? These are some of the same links that are up here as well. But if I've already scrolled up, right, I can reach those bottom links. Another thing that I do, if I go to my monthly planner, this gives me an idea of the, the kind of the most important kind of tasks and projects that I want to complete for the month. And man, sometimes it can get very overwhelming. Sometimes I have to kind of move some tasks or projects to the next month. That's fine. But again, these are not scheduled. They're just planned. So they're planned for that month. But then I have to figure out what day or days that I want to work on them and get them done, right? And again, you can see that you can call up the master the master list again and pull from there to, to plan out your months, all right? So I try to plan anywhere between, you know, a one to, to four months ahead, you know, but um, again, I kind of work through them. And this, actually, this list is a little bit longer. I'm just truncating it, but... Uh, you know, this is this is really great for me because it kind of gives me an overview of, you know, what um, is going, you know, what I want to get get accomplished. Right. And I can I can also do kind of weekly planning. I don't really use that feature, but that's another way you can do it as well. Right. But I just kind of go from the month to month and try to get those checked off. And what's cool about this, too, is I can un I can unhide this. Right. I can the, the their tasks that are completed. I can click this off and see all the tasks that I completed for that month. And that's really inspiring for me to see that I've gotten a lot of stuff done. Because a lot of times I, I be I feel like, oh, I'm not getting enough done. I get enough work done. But basically, I really am. So I just unclick this, to, you know, to to, to determine that, right? So let's go back to the main interface here and we can close this out. So basically, um, that's kind of an overview of, of, of this. And, um, you know, it's really, let me see how to close it. I got to close it out over here. Okay. So, so it's really a, a way. This is, I have found that Amazing Marvin has worked for me in ways that, no other app application that I've used in terms of planning. I've tried Todoist. I've tried ClickUp. I've tried Things. Man, I've tried at least eight of them in the, in the past, you know, decade or so. And this one is the one that works for me. 
And I have a lifetime subscription, so I'm lucky to have that. I, it's pretty much going to be paid for by next year. I think it was about $300, right? And so I, it's going to be paid for as mine. And they are, they don't, they don't update every month, right? But they do keep it updated, right? And there's a Facebook group that I'm in as well that you can ask a lot of questions and get a lot of ideas. And the, um, there's also a, a kind of a, uh, amazing Marvin Docs site that explains all the strategies. I mean, there's over a hundred strategies for Amazing Marvin, and the developers do a good job of, you know, giving you some, uh, giving you short videos and explanations about how to use Amazing Marvin. So if you have any questions about it, definitely put them in the comments in the section below. I also do tutoring for Amazing Marvin as well to help you get set up and to go deeper into it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, right? Um, and let me know that you want to know more about Amazing Marvin. Thanks a lot for your time and checking it out. I'll see you in the next video.